strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. When you're living a life of selfishness, you cannot expect God to be kind to you. Because once you breathe your last, it is the end. Once you breathe your life, you have only the lake of fire, which is designed for the ungodly. And every ungodly, and those people who spit at preachers and think that they are, that they are good, the people who live only complain about their ancestors all their life, and they never change their ways. All the complaint has been always, oh, look at what the white man did to my, my forefathers. Look at the white man. Look at what the white man did to my forefathers, even though they themselves never lived that lifestyle. Even though no one, they've never experienced that lifestyle, they, they use that as a crutch in their life to complain. They use that as a crutch in their life to complain and the reason why they're not living right. The reason why they're not living righteously, the reason why they're not following God is because of, of somebody else. It can be the white man, or it can be the green man, it can be the, my parents, it's always excuses, excuses. But God is not, God is not going to ask you for excuses. He's going to ask you, what did you do? What have you done with the life that I gave you? He's going to ask you, I've give, given you a good life. Why did you not use it right? That's why the wages of sin is death, my friend. There are people that have hate in their hearts. And they hate the word of God and they hate the truth. And all their life, they live their life in hatred of everyone that they see. All they see is color, color of skin color. That's all they see all their lives. All they see is hurts. What my forefathers did, what, what this person did to me. That's all they live. They live a life of victimhood. But God who created you did not create you a victim he created you to be strong to live a life of holiness and live a life of righteousness and stop drinking the devil's Kool-Aid because the devil is a liar and because the devil is a liar you should you be the last person you should listen to and many people today are listening to the devil through the media through many sources through their own hearts. Many people are listening to devil, the devil. The devil has never spoken more than he has spoken in this our time and day and age. He's speaking through the, all the media sources are spewing out all the devil's Kool-Aid. And everyone that is, that has their face, their head, and godless are drinking it up like, like Kool-Aid. They're drinking it up in gulps. They're swallowing it hook, line, and sinker. But there come a day when you will breathe your last. There come a day when you will be called, when your number will come up. What will you do? And God will judge you for your sins, for all that you have done with the time that you have on here on this planet. What are you going to tell God? Oh, it was the white man's fault that I didn't believe. Are you going to tell God, oh, hey, the white man did this or the white man did that? Or my forefathers did this, my forefathers did that. Are you going to tell, are you going to tell them that, are you going to tell them that, uh, that my parents did this and my parents did that? It was because of my wife or because of my, my mother-in-law. Are you going to tell that to God? Or are you going to man up and said, yes, I did it. It was my fault. I did it my way. 
If you do it your way, you're going to end up in a lake of fire. If you do it God's way, if you do it God's way, you will have eternal life. Because heaven is for those who trust in God. It's not for losers. Heaven is for winners. And God created you to be a winner. God did not create you to be a loser. He wants you to be a winner. What's your problem, sir? You got legs, though. Huh? You got legs, don't you? I got what legs, Tom? You got legs, don't you? What? You're talking like that. You got legs. You got legs, don't you? You can walk away. Okay, then that's fine. You're in a public place. You got legs. You won't fuck up. You're in a public place, sir. So are you? Yes. So you can tell me. I don't. I never told you to stop. You telling me to stop. Okay. Well, I don't want to hear you. Okay. Okay. So we're square. He wants to hear me. Well, you're always swearing. My goodness. Can you make one sentence? Can you make one sentence without swearing? Yes. Go away, please. Okay. Thank you. You go away, please. Jesus can set you free. All you can do is turn to God, stop hating God, turn from your sins, and repent. It is simple. Or else there is a judgment day that is coming, and there is a fire that will burn the ungodly. And if you, if you repent of your sins, that is the good news. You can be saved. So if I'm here blasting rap music, he won't complain at all. If I'm here, if I'm here rap, uh, doing a gangster rap, you won't complain. But why is he complaining? Because what I'm saying is the truth. And the devil, did you did you tell him to shut down his his speaker? Did you tell him to shut down his speaker? Did you tell him that? Did you did you see? Did you listen to you? <laughs> See? It's the hypocrisy. It's a hypocrisy, my friend. Your hypocrisy. It's okay. I'm going to preach to those who want to hear. Jesus Christ is the only way. Turn from drugs. Turn from drug abuse, drug dealing. Turn from, turn from marijuana, smoking. Turn from alcoholism. Turn from alcohol, turn to Jesus Christ, turn away from fornication, turn away from fornication, turn to Jesus Christ and your life will be made whole and you will no longer walk in darkness but you will have the light of life. Jesus Christ is the only one in the whole world who died for your sin, who can, no one in this world that has ever died for the sin of the whole world. Only Jesus Christ has done that. And if you trust Him today, if you, if you turn your life over to Him, He can wash you clean, white as snow. But if you don't, if you continue to live in your sin and continue to pride yourself in it, there is no hope for you, my friend. There is no hope for you. Jesus Christ is no. That's a that's a hate speech. Gangster rap is a hate speech. If if anybody want to ban hate speech, that's the first one they should ban. Jesus Christ can set you free, my friend. You can you can live a, ha a life of happiness. You can live a life of joy. You can be filled. Your heart can be filled to overflow. Your heart can be filled to overflow, my friends. You don't know what God has in store. Thank you. You don't know what God has in store for those who love Him. The Bible tells us it's beautiful. That eyes have not seen, ear have not heard. And it has never come into the heart of a man. What God has prepared for those who love Him. 
So God has prepared a lot of beautiful things for those who love Him. And those who do not love Him, they have they are only themselves to blame. But He will give you the chance. God will give you the chance to repent. And He will call you over and over again. He will call your attention over and over again. Each and a point, each, everyone in this life has an invitation. They have an invitation. Everyone in this planet has an invitation by God, but many of them reject the invitation. And so God continued to give the invitation until when the time is up and the marriage feast, the marriage, the, the wedding doors, uh, the, the marriage feast is closed. And then there will be no more room. Jesus said, walk while you still have the light. So that darkness will not come and overshadow you. And that is the warning that God gives to all those who, all those who are walking in darkness. He said, while you have the light, walk in it. And Jesus told that to the people of his time. The people of his time, the Jews, he told them, you have the light among you for a little while. While you have the light, while, why don't you walk in it? So that darkness will not overshadow you. And they didn't listen. They didn't listen to him. But in our time, we find that in 1970 CE, or 70 AD, the 70 AD, they were there, and the Romans came and destroyed Jerusalem, and he wiped out everyone, and those people that he told the darkness was going to shadow overshadow them, they formed factions and slaughter one another. Yes. Oh, God bless you. You. Right. They formed faction and slaughter one another. But Jesus warned them ahead of time to change. Jesus warned them ahead of time to change, but they didn't change. And the Bible said, the way it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the Son of Man. So because in the days of Noah, they were eating and drinking, they were having marriage, they were doing all kinds of things. They did not take notice until the flood came and and swept all of them away. Jesus said the exact same way it will be when the Son of Man comes. When the Son of God comes, many people will be drinking, smoking, getting drunk. God bless you. God bless you. Getting drunk. Many people will be selling drugs. Some people will be selling drugs. Some people will be buying drugs. Some people will be fornicating and watching pornography. Some people will be practicing transsexualism, all kinds of things, until when Jesus comes and they are wiped out. And they are all wiped out. Which one would you be? Are you going to be those who are, who are burnt up? Are you going to be those who are burnt up in the fire? Are you going to be those who are set free? Those who live in holiness, in righteousness. Because make no mistake about this, God is calling you today to repent. And if you don't repent, there's a day of judgment that is coming. And that judgment day will take you by surprise. That judgment day will take the world by surprise. The world will not see it coming. Just like the days of Noah, they did not see destruction coming. And they told Noah, we don't see any rain. We don't see any water. We don't see any rain. Why are you building that boat? Why are you building those, that ark? We don't see any rain. Until the day that the rain came and, and it blew, the sun and didn't shine and the whole people were drowned. All the people were drowned. Both them and their animal, their drugs, their prostitutions, everything drowned with them. That's the same way it will be when the day when the Son of God comes. What is the matter? Jesus died for our sins, didn't he? 
He don't die so that you can continue to live in your sin. He died for a purpose. The purpose that Jesus did, died for is so it's not so that you can continue smoking, smoking crack and doing cocaine and doing. Jesus didn't die for you to be saved from fornication so you can continue to fornicate. It's not a pass, my friend. If you think it's a pass, you're full. Jesus Christ died for the sins of the world so that you can no longer live in the sin, so that you can change, so that you can have the power to repent. The power to repent from your sin is yours. It's in your hands. You to turn to Jesus Christ, the power of forgiveness will come to you. But you have to want you have to want to turn from your sin. You have to want to repent from it because the day's, day of judgment is coming. Why am I telling you this? Because the day of judgment is coming. At the day of judgment, you will be reminded that you heard the message. On the day of judgment, you will be reminded that you heard the message while you were eating pizza, while you were getting, while you were drinking, you heard the message while you were wrapping your weed. You heard the message in the middle of blasting your music. You heard the message. But you did with it whatever you want. You did with it whatever you want. That's what you're going to hear. You're not going to, you're not going to fool God. Jesus said, Jesus said every unprofitable saying, Everything that a person say, all unwholesome word that you utter, you will give account of it on the judgment day. So mark your words. Mark your words. Make sure you speak to God. Make you make sure you speak kindly to God. Because all of those words will be you will be recorded. You will be given you will give account of it on the judgment day. I don't I don't care about you in the lake of fire you will. In the lake of fire you will. In the lake of fire you will. There's no partying. There's no partying in the lake of fire. There's no partying in the lake of fire. There's only screaming in agony. There's only hurt. Hey, when I'm dead, I don't give a fuck anyway. I don't know shit. Too late, too late, my friend. They will tell you. Too late. You had the life, you had your chance when you were alive. You had your chance to repent, no, but you were, you were busy. You were busy in trying to enjoy the word. That you were busy drinking Satan Kool-Aid. And now, and now say, and now, hmm? you don't know what, you don't know what Satan, you don't know what Satan's Kool-Aid is. I'm not a Catholic. I don't know where, where you got that from. I said, oh, you Catholics and shit. Is that the only Christian? Is that the only people? Only pe people you know? Only religion? You're a hypocrite. You, know? you live in sin every fucking day, but yet you stand there and preach the bullshit in the Bible. Tell me, tell me which sin? Which did you see me? What sin have you do? Have I committed? By preaching to people that don't want to fucking hear you. Well, Lou, you gotta. Everybody listening to you. You see, fuck up. You see, that's the problem with our world today. We have people wearing a huge no, cross. The problem with our world today is we, like you. We have people. Fuck idea what the fuck you're talking we about. have people wearing a huge cross on their neck, but they they they, they go out and well, they tell people. But everybody sees it. They think that I oh, this. overseas for people I don't even fucking know, dipshit. Over people see it, they say, well, wow, this, this person must be a Christian because they're wearing cross on their neck, they must be Christians. Not knowing that's not true. That's not the fact. That's not the fact. And then he's also a racist too. They're practicing all kinds of debauchery. Newsflash people, 
just because somebody's wearing a cross on their neck doesn't mean that they are Christians. Just because someone is wearing a cross on their neck does not make them a Christian. I wear a cross because the British, I lost my okay. So, for news flash, anybody can wear a cross. I killed people because I had to, you moron. I didn't see, you did that, I didn't send you anywhere. You pull the fucking trigger on the gun, you shoot somebody in the fucking head. Do it! You do that for people you don't know, you're a fucking hypocrite, go. Okay. Jesus died for the people they didn't know. No, I fought for people I don't fuck for. Okay, go ahead. Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. Okay, no problem. You don't know what I go through every fucking night when I close my eyes, motherfucker. Nightmares. Night terrors. Well, God can take that away. No, God didn't take shit away. Okay, you're spitting at, you're spitting at me. You're spitting at me, man. What? Is that what you're going to tell God on a judgment day? I shot people and I did this and I did this for for people I didn't know. You got right to fucking speak. So is it so that that back in your tree, you fucking monkey. Is it is it that is it so that God will for, will listen to you? Well, you're not acting like a veteran. You know that if you if you if you fought for my freedom, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be here yelling at me. Well, he can walk away. He is. He is walking away now. Yeah. You go to jail. Because you're a fucking rat. You want to destroy your life? Because you're a rat goof. Do you want to destroy your life? No. Okay. Destroy my life. You fucking hypocrite. Well, that's. Take it up with those who did it. Don't. Not me. Take it off with those who did a a a, a, a racist. You're, you're, okay. you're racist. It don't mean black, it don't mean white, it don't mean shit. It means okay. ignorant man who okay. has only one vision. Okay. And that's yours. Okay. You, you showed that, you proved that you're racist. That's not racist. No. It's when it proves, open the, it's, open the dictionary. black. Okay. God well, you go to, you go to, you go to, you go to black neighborhood and say that and see whether you come back. Yeah. You go there and, do, you go there and say that and, you go there and say that. You can say that all you want I in say front of. Just walk away, man. Just walk dope. away. Nigger don't mean black bitch. Just walk away, man. Just walk away. You should walk away. So you get just, first. just walk away. Just walk away. Oh, this man just threatened me. It, of course, this just threatened me right now. He just corrected me by, by saying he can. By, am I talking to you? Are you identifying with what I'm saying? Are you going to go to hell? Are you going to go to hell? Okay, so when, why do you have an why do you have an opinion? Why do you have an, a, a problem with me? If you know it's not you, then you don't have a problem with me. What What do you mean? Don't even talk to her. Don't even fucking look at her, man. Because you're taller than me. Do you want to destroy my size, your life? Do you want to destroy your life? Okay. Yes, those who do not, those who do not repent of their sin will go there. That's period. If that's you, if that's you, that's fine. That's your, that's, you can take it however you want. Oh, a I sell dope to your kids. A confession. Bitch. A confession. Is that a confession? What? What is what's wrong? What 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 makes you angry? Why are you angry at what I'm saying? Because you're full of shit. How? Because you have no idea what the fuck you're talking. We were alive when Jesus was. Oh, just because you told me that, that means you're right. Just because you told me that, that 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 means that means you're right. 
Are you? I served overseas, and I lost some of my best friends. Okay. I lived in fucking hell, goof. Okay. There are people like you that did the same thing you did, and they're not doing that. They all do the same thing I do. Yes. Night terrors. Yes. They're not doing what you're doing right now. There are a lot of veterans. There are a lot of veterans that are respectful. Actually, I actually respect. I actually respect veterans. I actually respect veterans. You give them a bad name. Yeah, I, I actually respect that we go and fight for I respect and veterans. We come back to our own country and we become second class citizens. I respect I I respect veterans. I respect veterans, but you're not giving them a good name. Man, I don't know what's what's got what's into you, what inside you, what's stirring you up. I'm here preaching the Bible, and you start yelling at me. Repent, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. If you don't like to hear the word repent, that's fine. That's fine. I don't. Cut, nigga, free E. Some odd months ago, they were screaming, free me. Made 20,000 oh, the same hi, day they free me. Jesus can give you life. Jesus can set you free. And all you have to do is turn from your ways. Stop worshiping the devil. Can you, can you go away? 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 You want to go to jail or you want to stay? You want to go to jail? Okay, you want to sleep in jail tonight? Just keep doing that. Man, if you if you are if you're a veteran, you will have a. I, I, I thought when you go to military, you get you get you taught discipline. They don't know Do your thing. Leave them alone. No, keep talking. Yeah, it's a it's a work of the devil. It's a work of the devil. The work. I thought when you go to the military, they teach you discipline. They teach you how to control your temper. They teach you how to control your how to channel. How to ch how to channel your anger? How to do all that? I, I thought they teach they teach discipline. I've seen many veterans, and I respect veterans. And you, what I'm seeing here today, is not a good display. It's not a good display. It's not a dis. I do respect veterans. Yes, news flash. I do. I do. I do. Veterans will be appalled at what you're doing. Okay. What? You know what? I don't have time. I don't have time for you guys. I don't have time for you guys. I'm gonna continue to preach. The problem here is the devil. The devil is in control of. The devil is in control of this place. The devil is in control of this place because you know why? They have no problem with the rap music blasting. They have no problem with any of that. But the gospel, they have a problem with. That's your problem. That's your problem. That's your problem. My message makes you angry. And if you say you fought for me, if you say you fought for me, you will respect my freedom to be able to speak the truth. If you, it's okay. You can do what you want, man. I'm just here on the sidewalk preaching, one man preaching the gospel, and you came out of nowhere and start and start yelling at me. You can it's a free country. You can walk away. You don't have to Are you free?
Are you free? Okay, I am free. I am free. Okay. If you don't believe you're free, that's that's your business. I am free. I'm free to be on uh, uh, to preach the gospel. I'm free to be on the sidewalk and preach the gospel. Jesus. Man, you only just you, you. I don't need to say anything to you. I don't need to say anything to you. I'm just here on a sidewalk. If you don't like the truth, if you don't like the truth, but you don't have the right to punch me or come to, or come close to me to, to try to threaten me, you don't have the right to do that. You don't have the right to try threaten to punch me or threaten to snap my neck. You don't have that right. You have the right to disagree with me. That's fine. Anyway, it is a free country. I can, you can stand on the sidewalk and share the Bible, share the gospel, and somebody don't have to yell at you. It's a free country. Yeah, but don't threaten me. When you go threatening me, you're going too far. When you're threatening me, you're going too far. I told you. I, I'm preaching. Are you part of that? Are you part of that? You just said that we were all going to burn it. Yeah, so the Bible said the Bible is wrong. Yes, it's in the Bible. Read it. Read it. Read it. The Bible said those who do not believe in Jesus Christ will not have life. Okay, that's fine. Man, everything you're doing right now is being recorded. Don't worry. Jesus saved. There's a guy up there re recording what you're doing. So just be be watchful of what you're doing. And there's a camera here too. Yeah, you know that. Then leave me alone and go somewhere else. If you, I, I thought you were waiting for a bus. I thought you were waiting for a bus. You find my word? Anyway. Jesus Christ is the only way to look. The salvation. Turn from your sin, my friends. Turn to Jesus Christ. That you may have life and have it in abundance. Repent of your sins. God sent Jesus Christ into the world to be the Savior of the world. So that those who believe in Him may not perish, but they will have life and have it in abundance. There's a day of judgment coming, my friends, when all those... I'm going there. I'm huh? going. Good, good. Was there an issue here just recently? Uh, oh, just the guy over here yelling at me, and uh, this guy over here yelling at me, uh, because I was preaching the Bible. Okay. I don't know. And okay, arguing over free speech. Okay, preacher, we have to be mindful that people are entitled to their opinion and beliefs also, right, Yeah, sir? but when they come to me Absolutely. and start yelling they, at me and start they threatening they me, cannot, that's not... That's not okay, yeah, sir. Yeah, that guy just did. Where did so, he go? He's over there, but I, I'm not, I'm not going to press... They, he's over there in the bicycle. On the bicycle? He threatened to snap my neck. Okay, I'm going to and he, and he called me N-words, all that stuff. So that's his business. It's free speech, but he's not doesn't have a tr any right to threaten me. I'm good myself. What is going? Hmm? To bother you? Yeah, he's just yelling at uh, me, calling me uh, n words and all, all that stuff, and uh, mouth just you know talking and threatening me. So I just. I see the homeless they talking about the police. Hmm? I see the homeless they talking about you. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through Him. The only way you can get to God is through His Son, Jesus Christ. He is the Savior of the world. He is the one who lived, to, who died for your sins so that you can no longer live in it. So that you may have life and, and have it in abundance. There is hope in Jesus Christ. 
there's hope in Jesus Christ and all you have to do is turn to Him and by turning to Him you will have life and you'll have life in abundance fear God and give Him the glory because the hour of His judgment has come worship Him who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and the land and everything that is in it there is no hope for you in this life if you die in your sins there's no hope for you there's only judgment that awaits those who who practice wickedness and God is a spirit and those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth there's no hope for those that are out of Jesus Christ but there's hope that all for those who are in Jesus Christ and that hope is all yours Turn to you to Jesus Christ if you turn to him that hope is yours whether you are black or white or Hispanic whether you are Asian whoever you are Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life but many people are seeking truth in life today many people many of you are seeking truth but Jesus Christ is the truth many of you are seeking life and Jesus Christ is life and many of you my friends are seeking for a way that Jesus Christ is the way and all you have to do is turn to him all you have to do is turn to him and turn from your sin that you may have eternal life Jesus Christ is a hope for all nations Jesus Christ is a hope for all creation have a good day Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to God except through Him. But the Bible says that if you live a holy, if you live a righteous life, if you live a righteous life, you have nothing to fear. Because fear comes from doing wrong. Fear comes from doing wrong. When you're not doing wrong, and evil people try to try to shut you down, evil people try to stamp you out of existence, God is your security. Thank you. God bless you. Evil people and wicked people don't like to hear the truth. The gospel makes them uncomfortable. The gospel makes them cringe in their skin. Why? Because they have the devil living in them. They are operated by the devil. The Bible says that the many are under the shadow, under the control of the spirit of this age, the spirit that works in the sons of disobedience. Everyone who disobey God, who walk in unrighteousness, has the spirit. They have the spirit of the devil living in them. As the spirit that now dwells in the sons of disobedience, that is why when they hear the word of God, when they hear the word of God, they begin to manifest the ugliness that is in them. I don't blame them. When you hear the gospel, when you hear the word of God, the good news, yes, thank you, the judgment, the judgment of God, you can react in two ways. You can be either happy or you can be angry. And I see in these people, I see it. And the and reaction, your reaction shows that the kind of spirit that is in you. Your reaction to the gospel of Jesus Christ shows the spirit is, that is controlling you. It's the spirit that is controlling you, is, is Satan, you will be angry at the word of God. But if the spirit that is in you is of God, you will not be angry. You will be you will embrace the love of God and you will be happy. You will, you will be, your hearts will bubble filled with joy because there's the word of God being spoken on the street. But the enemy, what the enemy wants to do is to shut down the word of God. The enemy wants us to go back, go into our churches and, and practice church, churchianity and go home. The enemy doesn't want the word of God on the streets. The enemy doesn't want the word of God on the streets. Why? Because when people hear the word of God, they change. So when the word of God is preached, it can do two things to your life. You can react with anger 
or you can react with acceptance. And those two ways that you react depends, determines by the spirit that is living inside of you. If you're living a life of sinfulness, like the lady here that was telling me that I was telling them that she's going to go to hell. How does she know that? Except unless she's living a sinful life and she knows it. And so she internalized that to herself. That I said that she, that they are going to go to hell. Let me repeat myself. If you are living in sin, if you are living your life against God and living a life of selfishness and don't know Jesus Christ, don't know God, you are going to hell. Yes. You can take your pick. If you, whether you like it or not, that's the fact. If the fact makes you uncomfortable, that, that, that's your business. And I'm here to give you the facts so that you can make, the, make wise decisions, so you can make the right choice. God has put life and death before you and He wants you to choose life so that you can live. He does not want you to die. Cigarette kills. Cigarette can give you lung cancer. Okay? That's not my word. It can give you lung cancer. You can poison your lungs. That's not my, from me. That's from Health Canada. So if I take that same word, if I take that same word and put it on sign and, sh and tell people cigarette smoking will kill you. Now, is that my word? Are you supposed to get angry at me? Or are you supposed to get angry at Health Canada? You see, that's what people do. You can react to the gospel with the truth. We can react with it happiness or you can, you can attack it. Or you can yell at, at, at the preacher. Or you can shoot the messenger. So, many people make the wrong choices of shooting the messenger all the time. Because the spirit in them is dark. They have a dark spirit hanging over them. They're walking in darkness. They don't know where they're going. So if the demonic force, demonic presence that is in them is strong enough, it will turn them into attacking the preacher, like one man just almost did here. They will shoot the messenger like one man almost over here spit, uh, spat at me just by walking by. Because they don't like to, and this man flipped cigarette at me. It's not, it's, it's not completely them, it's the spirit that is in them. The Bible says that many people are, that are, those who are not worshipping God, those who are wicked, are inhabited by the spirit of the devil. They are inhabited by the spirit of the devil. So many times their actions are not all theirs. Many times their actions are not all theirs. They, they, they're under bondage. And when the word of God is spoken, they, they, they want to listen to it, but the, 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 the enemy, the Satan in them, lashes out and take control and tell them to curse out the preacher or to throw something at him but Jesus Christ died for those people who were stoning who was who were spitting at him Jesus Christ died for those who were slapping him and pulling off his hair he died for those people who were nailing him to the cross and he said father please forgive them why because they don't know what they're doing. Because if they know what they're doing, they know that this is the Son of God and He came into this world to save lives, to save them. And they will not, they will not do such things. But because their hearts are evil, because their hearts are wicked, the enemy will tell them, curse the preacher. The enemy will tell them, throw something at the preacher. The devil will tell them, spit at the preacher the devil will tell them throw your cigarette butt at the preacher or blow smoke on his face in his face my friends you are under the bondage of the devil if you don't know jesus christ you are you are an easy pick for the devil if you don't know jesus christ you are in the territory of the devil and you are his puppet have you heard the puppet on the string 
The devil is a puppet master of many people today. All the devil has to do is pull a string and you move your arm. All the devil has to do is pull a, a, a string and you move your legs. You are a puppet on the string and the devil is the master puppeteer. But when you turn to Jesus Christ, those... God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. When you turn to Jesus Christ and repent of your sin, those puppet ropes are cut out, cut away. They're severed. And the devil has no more control over you anymore. Now God has the control. And now you begin to listen to the things of God. The things of God will not turn your stomach anymore. The things of God will become more acceptable to you. Those rap music will no longer... You will no longer desire them. Those, those uh, gangster raps, you, you no longer desire them. And those devil signs that you make, you no longer make them anymore because you're now a new creation. That drugs you take in, you no longer take them. And that drug that you used to sell and work the block, you no longer work in the block anymore. You're now preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ instead of peddling the devil's chemicals instead of peddling the devil's poison you're now, you're now speaking the truth life giving truth you're now speaking the life giving truth of Jesus Christ that is why the Bible says that anyone in Jesus Christ is a new creation or the old has passed and the new has begun I used to listen to rap gangster rap I used to go clubbing, I used to fornicate, I used to live a life of, of sin and wickedness. But now that I'm a new creation in Jesus Christ, those kind of things turn my stomach. Gangster rap turn my stomach. Those life of fornication, I despise it. And I'm here to tell you that you have that same power. You have the power over sin. And Jesus Christ can give you that power over sin. But you have to return to Him. But you have to turn your life over to Him. And you have to repent. You have to change your ways.